Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I did the, the Jerry Michelek challenge, which is the six plates at seven yards. And of course, I couldn't come anywhere near Jerry. I did it in 269. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna start out at 10 yards. It's, I don't, I'm sure there's a record in this too. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna have fun, take some runs at the six, eight inch plates at 10 yards. With the miss, 335, let me go spray him. Okay, run number two. All six in 305. 305, I'm gonna show you. 305 for all six at 10 yards. At 10 yards. First shot, 134, a little slow. 36 transition, 36, 36, 33, 30. Not bad. So my, my transitions were, were steady. So that was six eight inch plates, 10 yards, 305. Now I'm gonna spray them and I'm gonna back up to 15 yards. Now, if I remember right, when I, uh, I went to the Glock challenge a few years ago, and that is a Glocks only match. And at that time, I think there was no red dots. It was open sights only. And the winning the winners in that did the 10 yards that I just did, six eight inch plates. And they did it in a, about three and a half seconds, I believe. I imagine it's changed now with red dots. They gotta be faster than that. But I mean, they start from the low ready without the draw. So I, you know, I ain't ashamed of that. Okay, 15 yards, same challenge, 15 yards. Here we go. My third run of the day, by the way. I'm not even going to waste the ammo. Okay, we're going to do that again. 15 yards, 8 inch plates. Ah, all six. 339 from 15 yards. 339 for all six. Let's see the uh, the split times on that. First shot, 128. Second shot, 51. 42, 42, 38, 38. Let's try it again. I, I probably won't beat that. Three, 339 for me is pretty good at 15 yards. Gotta spray him real quick, I'll be right back. I think it's interesting that as you back up, the challenge gets, it, it gets harder in one way, but easier in another. And, and the way that it gets easier is, it, obviously it's harder because the, the plates, the geometry in the plates are, are smaller at this distance. So you gotta hold a little bit more steady but uh, the sweep becomes narrower as you back up. When you're up there real close, like the challenge I did a couple of weeks ago, you're, you're, you're sweeping a long way, so it takes time to transition just to physically move your body. You know, whereas when you're back this far, there's not much movement there. So, so it is harder, but it's not as much harder as you think. All right, let's try it again. 
3.39 is my best time at 15 yards. I'm going to stop there and not waste ammo. Let me go spray him. Got a helicopter flying around here. I guess they found me. Alrighty, 15 yards, eight inch plate, six of them. That big one on the side, that's a bigger plate. It's a 10 inch, that's not part of the thing. You probably figured that out already. All right. All six in 320. That's faster than 339, isn't it? 320 for all six. Okay, here we go. 129, draw to first plate. 43, 39, 37, 37, 35. So I really, really doubt I can improve on that. I'm tempted to stop. It's always a good idea to stop in a good place. I'm gonna do it one more time. When you shoot at a high high level of performance, you only got so many good runs in you, you know? So we'll do one more. We'll see what happens. We'll do it again. Six plates and 347. I'm slowing down, but I, I hit them all. And this is a good place to end my training session this time, and that's what that's what I recommend you do. When you when you, you train, you're gonna you're gonna need a warm up. You know the first one probably won't be the best, and then you'll get you'll get better and better, and then it's, it's like a curve. And at some point, I don't know how many runs I did, five or six. You'll realize you're hitting that peak, and you nail it, and then if, as you feel that you're you went past, it, it's a good time to quit. So. Not that you have to quit shooting, but it'd be a good idea to do a different challenge. By the way, did you notice me taking time to evaluate squibs when I was doing those, those runs? No, I didn't either. You can't evaluate squibs when you're shooting at a high level. These people that think that, that uh, you have to evaluate every shot, was that a squib, was that not a squib before you go on? That's beginner level shooting, okay? I trust my ammunition, it's not garbage, it's not fat factory ammo. And that's why I can shoot fast without worrying about squibs. So if you start reloading, you can shoot fast without worrying about squibs, as long as you reload properly. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, tune into the next one and we'll be back.